A very good morning to all the students of class 6. And in this video, let us try to learn the differences between the Indian system and the international system. So students, let us compare the Indian system and the international system of numerals. Okay, so mainly there are two major differences, two major differences between the Indian system and the international system. First is the difference in their place value table. So let us check the place value table of is of the systems. So in the Indian system, first we have in the one spirit we have ones, tens, and hundreds. Then in the thousand spirit we have thousands and ten thousands. Then we have in the lakh spirit we have lakhs and ten lakhs. And finally we have crores. So this is the place value table for the Indian system. Then let us check for the international system of numeration. In the one spirit we have ones, tens, hundreds. In the thousand spirit we have thousands and ten thousands. Then we have hundred thousands, millions and ten millions. Understood students? So when we compare these two place value table, there is the place value table of Indian system and the place value table of international system, we come to know that the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands of both Indian and international systems are same. Right? So when you look closely, you will see that ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, up to ten thousands for both the system are same. But after ten thousand in the Indian system, we have lakhs, ten lakhs, and crore places. But in the international system, after 10,000, we have 100,000, millions, and 10 million places. So that's why I have written here, after 10,000, the place value table for Indian as well as international system are different. Okay, students. So this is the first major difference between the Indian system and the international system of numeration. Okay, students. So next, let us see the rule for putting commas in the Indian system and international system. So, students, let us see the rules for putting commas. First of all, let us see the rule for putting commas in Indian system of numeration. So, in the Indian system of numeration, the first comma of a given number comes after three digits. I will repeat again. In the Indian system of numeration, the first comma of any given number comes after three digits from the right side. We must start counting from the right side. This is the right side, right? This is the right hand. So we must start counting from the right side. The first comma comes after three digits from the right. So one, two, three. So here we will put our first comma. Okay. Remember, we are talking about Indian system of numeration. Then, the second comma comes after two digits. Comes after two digits. That means, if we start counting from the beginning, the second commas will come after five digits from the right. So, one, two, three, four, five. Here, we will put our second comma. And similarly, the third comma also comes after two digits. That means if we start from counting from the beginning, it will come after seven digits. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Understood? So this is a rule for putting commas in Indian system of numerals. So I'll repeat once again. The first comma comes after three digits. And we must start counting from the right side. The second comma comes after two digits. That means if we start counting from the beginning, it will come after five digits. And the third comma also comes after two digits. That means if we start counting from the beginning, it will come after seven digits. Understood, students? So, like this, let us try to put commas of these two given numbers. So, apply the first rule. First comma comes after three digits from the right side, right? So, one, two, three. First comma. Then, second comma comes after two digits, right? That means after five digits, if we start counting from the beginning. So, one, two, three, four, five. And no need to put the third commas because we don't have enough digits, right? So, 
Then we have another number. How many digits are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 digits. So let us put the commas. First comma comes after 3 digits from the right, right? So first comma. Second comma comes after 2 digits. Then means after 5 digits. If we start counting from the beginning. Second comma. Under so students, so this is a rule that we need to follow while putting commas in the Indian system of numeration. Now let us check the rules for putting commas in the international system of numeration. Next students, let us see the rules for putting commas in international system of numeration. So in the first example here, we have a number. Uh, it is a eight digit number. Okay, so first let us see how to put commas according to this system. So according to international system of numeration, like the Indian system, the first comma will come after three digits starting from the right side. So after three digits starting from the right side. So one, two, three, right? Here we will have our first comma. But the second comma will come after three digits okay the second comma according to the international system of numeration will come after three digits that means after six digits if we start from the beginning one two three four five six here we will have our second comma okay the third comma will also will come after three digits so see here we don't have enough digits so here we put only two commas here okay so remember in international system of numeration, the first comma, the second comma, or the third comma will come after every three digits. And we must start counting from the right side. After every three digits, we will place a comma according to the international system of numeration. Understood students? Next, we have another, another number here. <clears throat> so, applying the same rule, the first comma will come after three digits. Second comma also will come after three digits, like this. Okay, and finally we have the last number. First comma will come after <coughs> three digits from the right side. The second comma will come after will also come after three digits, right? So here we don't need to put commas because we don't have enough digits. Understood, students? So this is a rule to put commas according to the international system of numeration. Okay, students, so then let us see how to write the number name of the Indian system as well as the international system of numeration. So here, students, let us see the difference in writing the number name between the Indian system and the international system. So first of all, let us try to write, let us try to write the number name of the Indian system. So here, they have given us a number. Okay. So first, let us try to write the number name according to the Indian system. So tell me, students, before we start this question, let me tell you one thing. In exam or let's say when we conduct a class test, if the question says like this, write the number name according to the Indian system. If the if in the question, if the question mentioned according to the Indian system, then it's very easy, right? We have to write the number name according to the Indian system. But there might be some question who just simply says write the number name and they will not mention any system. Okay, but the given numbers, the numbers which is given in the question, they will put commas like this. Okay, so in the question, if the question do not mention any system of numeration, we have to look at the commas. Remember the rules for putting commas in the Indian system as well as the international system. So here, let's see. The first comma comes after three digits, right? Which is similar both for both the system. But in the Indian system, the second comma comes after two digits, right? So after two digits. The third comma also will come after two digits, right? So this is the Indian system. Okay. So you have to write the number name for this given number according to the Indian system. So let us see the place value of this four digits. So let us take the place value table. Ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, one lakh, ten lakh, and after that we have crore places, right? So one crore. So we have the number name like this, two crore. 
So 2 crore 86 lakh 54,321. Understood, students? This is the number name of this given number according to the Indian system. And remember, students, most of, most of the students, they put is while writing, while writing the number name. For example, some students will put 2 crores, 85 lakhs, 54,000. Understood? So that is one of the most common mistakes. The students make while writing the number name. We will not put any S while writing the number name. Understood, students? Simply 2 crore, 86 lakh, no S, 54,000, no S, 321. We do not put S. Why? Because we are writing the number name. Understood, students? So next, let us try to write the number name of the same number according to the international system of numeration. So the same number. Okay, but look at the commas. Look at how the commas are placed. The first comma comes after three digits from the right, of course, which is similar to the Indian system. But the second commas come after three digits. Right? In the Indian system, the second commas come after two digits. So there's a difference. So when you look at the commas, we will we know that we will write the number name of this given number according to the international system of numerals. So let us write the number name. So let us check the place value of this first digit. 1 stands 100,000, 10,000. Remember this international. So after 10,000, next will be 100,000. 1 million, 10 million. Understood? So that's why we have written here 28 million 654,321. Understood, students? This is how we are going to write the number name according to the Indian system as well as the international system of numeration. Okay. Shall we try one more? Okay, let's try one more question. So next to this, let us try to write the number name. But this time, I will not mention whether we are going to write the number name according to the Indian system or according to the international system. I will not mention the system, the type of system. But we are going to write the number name. How? By looking at the commas. On how the commas are placed to the given number. Okay, so let's first look at let us look at the first number. The first given number. The first comma comes after three digits, of course, which is same for border system. But look at the second comma. The second comma comes after two digits. Right? And the third comma also comes after two digits. So this is obviously the in the system of numeration, right? So we have to write the number name according to the Indian system of numeration. <clears throat> so let us write the number name. First, let us check the place value of this first digit. One stands, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, one lakh, ten lakh, one crore. Right? So that's why we have written here three crore, eighty five lakh, forty three thousand, two hundred eight. Okay, so then next. The same number, but here, let us look on how the commas are placed. The first comma comes after three digits, but the second comma comes after three digits. So, this is an international system of numeration. So, we have to write the number name according to the international system, right? So, let us check the place below of this first digit. One stands, hundred thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, one million, ten million. So that's why I written here 38 million 543,208. Okay, so then, so that's how we are going to write the number name according to the Indian system as well as the international system of numeration. Okay.